What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra. If you are new to the channel, welcome. In this channel we talk everything about interior design and today we're going to be talking about what interior design software and computer programs interior designers use and I'm going to be giving you recommendations on whether you should learn some programs or not. I'm also I'm going to be giving you the prices for each one of those and what computer you need to run those programs. So without further ado, let's begin. The first program guys, I do know that everyone, almost every interior designer will know this program and that is AutoCAD. AutoCAD is used in interior design for 2D modeling, for technical specifications, for construction drawings, for detailed drawings. AutoCAD has a 3D modeling feature. We do not really model any 3D objects in AutoCAD. We will use other programs we'll, I will talk about in a bit. But AutoCAD is very, very popular. Most likely, if you want to study interior design, you will have to learn AutoCAD because it's part of the program. The second program that interior designers use a lot is SketchUp. SketchUp really is one of my favorite programs for interior design because it's so easy to learn. You probably won't have to take a course to learn SketchUp. I do know a lot of people that use SketchUp. They learned on their own and it's a very user-friendly program and it's also used for decorators, which is great. So if you're deciding to, to go more on the interior decoration part of interior design and you don't really have to learn all the technical programs, you can learn SketchUp really easy and it's a really quick way to show an interior space. And another thing that I love about SketchUp is that I can create realistic renderings. These renderings that you see on the screen are some of my past projects where I use SketchUp. If you are thinking to do any renders on SketchUp, you do have to know you have to install an extension. There's a couple of popular ones such as Podium or such as V-Ray. SketchUp is really, really great and it is used by a lot of interior designers to present work to the clients. The third program that I'm gonna talk about is Revit. Revit is a monster of a program. It is used by architects and by structural engineers and nowadays it's just starting to become more popular in the interior design industry. However, some people still think that Revit is not adequate for interior design purposes. The workflow is very different from the AutoCAD workflow or even from SketchUp. It is just a completely different world and it is a complex program. Another great program that interior designers use is InDesign. This is not really for doing 2D modeling or 3D modeling, any of that interior design stuff, but it's rather used to present your work to your client. You can do presentations to your client. It's also used to do interior design portfolios if you want to create a resume. This program is used by a lot of graphic designers, but interior designers also use them to do mood boards and presentations and a lot of other things when you want to present something to your client and you want to include all your interior design work. This program is not free, but Canva is another alternative where you can also create really cool presentations and portfolios, resumes, all that type of thing. But you do have to know that interior design, when we create floor plans and we want to put them together in a presentation, those floor plans are normally going to be in a PDF format when we export them from SketchUp or from AutoCAD, from Revit. So Canva will not let you import a PDF into a presentation. Whereas in InDesign, you can actually import a PDF and you will not lose the quality of your floor plans. Another program that interior designers use is Photoshop. Photoshop, we mainly use it to enhance our renderings. When you're creating a render using one of the extensions that I talked earlier about, either Podium or V-Ray using SketchUp, you do have control over the lighting and some aspects, but some things will not end up looking how you want them to look. So that's when you want to use Photoshop if you want to make your render a little brighter or if you want to change the saturation or the contrast, if you want to change the color of a sofa or anything like that. That. those manual changes you will import your render image into Photoshop and you can do those adjustments so those guys are the programs that I personally use now there's another program that I have heard I've done my research on it whether I should learn it or not but I have decided not to learn this program and I will tell you why the program is 3ds max 
This program is very complex. You can also do 2D modeling and 3D modeling. You can also create renders out of this program. When you create renders on 3ds Max, they look like real spaces. It's just mind-blowing how cool the renders are. But this is kind of like for people that want to specialize in just creating renders like this is like literally a job that people do like they will only create renders and they will even just create renders for other interior designers who really don't have the time and energy to spend days creating a render of a living room for example so a lot of interior designers outsource their rendering for other designers that are more specialized because it takes a lot of time to create a render and it also adds into the cost uh, for the client. My recommendation for interior designers and for aspiring interior designers is to learn AutoCAD. AutoCAD is used in a lot of interior design firms and you will probably learn it regardless whether you want or not because it's part of a lot of interior design programs and most interior designers will learn how to work with AutoCAD. Whether they work with it or not, they will know how to work with it. SketchUp, I would definitely recommend everyone that is in the interior design industry and even interior decoration. Learn SketchUp, it's so easy to learn. There's a lot of videos that you can watch. The results are amazing. It's like you're seeing models of houses, interiors, and you can make them look realistic. I think that's really cool, especially if you want to present your work to your clients. Now let's talk about Revit. Oh my god, there is there's an ongoing debate on whether Revit is going to replace AutoCAD. I honestly think that eventually it will. But it's just gonna take a while and I'm gonna tell you why. I was in my first year of university and I took a course on Revit. So I was a beginner user of the program and at that time I decided that I wanted to apply for a job. So I applied for a job. I had this company that I wanted to work with and I applied for this job knowing that I, I wasn't even graduated from school yet. I was in my first year, can you guys imagine? I didn't know anything basically. One of the requirements for this job was to know Revit. And I applied for this job and I got the job, but I did hear that there were other applicants for that same job position and they had like bachelor's degree or like diplomas or like they were already graduated like with experience and everything and they didn't know how to work with Revit. This was so shocking for me to know that knowing one software can open the doors to so many opportunities and nowadays even if you look to apply for jobs you will see that Revit is starting to become one of the requirements. What I would recommend is if you are early in your interior design career, if you're in school, if you have the time, take the time to learn Revit. Just gonna open the opportunities for whatever job you wanna get. I will leave the prices for each of those programs on the screen for you to see. You should know that all of the programs except for Revit, you can download them in a Mac or a Windows computer. Revit is only compatible with Windows. That is it from me, guys. I really hope that this video will help you make an informed decision on what programs you should use for interior design purposes. Bye!